Danny, I love you, and I'm sorry I'm doing this to you, but it'll be good for you. Danny, do you love me too? Danny, do you love me? No love. Hey guys, hey guys it's, it's Monday. Monday. <laughs> and um, we're working on the podcast studio. I can kind of show you because like you can't even see, but podcast studio, it's happening. We're doing some gifts, DIY gifts coming up. One of them is gonna be chess related and um, no, it's a disaster. Nathan, it's not a disaster. It's a disaster. Basically, we bought we got this from the thrift store, so it was missing a couple pieces. It was missing. Is this a rook? I don't know what they are. <laughs> it's the castle. Yeah, rook castle thing. Oh yeah, that is that is. That's hard. How do I do that? I believe in you so much. <laughs> this is the pong. 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 <laughs> the pong. <laughs> it's looking good. But, like make this shape separate. That's but, oh, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. So hard also, okay, that. you can also use an X-Acto knife. Oh, true. Like, imagine like cutting the bottom and like making it perfect. We have a baby craft one, the silver one. You, yeah, use this one. Oh, that's even better. We'll, we'll check in later. Okay, what's the the verdict? We done. We done? And you, are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy. They look pretty good. Guys, They're wow. They're pretty solid. I don't even think we'll acknowledge this in the main video, so <laughs> Vlogfam is the only one that knows about this. And Vlogfam, comment when you see this video go live. Mm. Be like, I don't know, what should they say in the comments? Be like, be like, I know something you don't. Hashtag Vlogfam. Mm, hashtag Vlogfam. Boom. Done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back with the little pieces. It turned out perfect. Focus. Why are you not working? You press the screen. Oh, yeah, I yeah. am. Just on your face, what the heck? Cover oh, your face. There you go, there you go. Ooh, this is Nathan. that's pretty this similar. Is the original one, but we're painting it now to make it like the same. Yeah. Different nice. Job. <laughs> My guy. Your guy survived. Dropped it. Right? Oh, he's good. He's fine. He's got a hair in him, but he's oh. fine. Hi, guys. I'm sorry this light behind me is giving me this terrible angel glow, but it's Monday night. I'm home. I'm just cooking some dinner. But. I want to tell you like this crazy coincidence, but I also feel like you know how some things are like coincidences because you're the only person who's like thinking about it. Like, okay, for example, say you really want like like a black jacket, whatever, and now that you're thinking about it, you are on the street and you see people wearing them everywhere only because you're thinking of it, not because it, it's like a weird coincidence. It would have happened anyways, even if you weren't aware of it. You with me? So. Um, I'm part of this plant group on Facebook, which I miss kind of nerdy, I know, but I love plants. It's a great group <laughs> to be a part of. And there's this one guy, and I hope he doesn't mind me talking about him, but his place is crazy. He has like so many plants, and quite often he posts like pictures of his space because it's like unbelievable. And the other day he posted one of this insane indoor pine tree he has, and it's like, I don't know, 12 feet tall at this point. And it's beautiful, and it's a little bit different than like your traditional traditional like, Christmas tree, pine tree. I will, I'll show you the pictures so you understand. So I commented and I was like, oh my goodness, what pine is that? Cause I've never seen a pine tree like inside that was that big either. And he commented back and he was like, oh, it's a Norfolk pine tree. And I looked them up and they're like a special kind of pine tree that come from Norfolk Island and you can keep them inside as opposed to outside. And I was like, well, that's crazy. <laughs> I all of a sudden want one in my life, even though I have no space for any more plants in my house. I don't even know where I'm gonna put a real Christmas tree, let alone another pine tree that has to stay inside all the time but I was like I love that I want one in my life so since I was thinking about them I was looking them up and obviously they're quite they can be quite expensive to get a like, really big tree inside and then I went to Walmart after work tonight to pick up some groceries and because it's the holiday season they had this entire display of little pine trees and pots and guess what kind of pine tree they were they're Norfolk pine trees <laughs> maybe it's not that crazy but to me I was like Whoa, I was just looking at these the other day and now they're here and they're only $19 for a little one and I don't even have space for a big one anyway, so it's kind of meant to be. You guys know where this is going, I now own one. <laughs> um, I think I know where I can put it too and I have like a pot for it and everything, so. It's not my fault guys, it's just meant to be. I think this year Austin still wants to get like a, like a real big Christmas tree that we can um, dress up. <laughs> but my hope is that like maybe in a couple years if this one keeps growing that we can eventually use it as our Christmas tree every year because then we don't have to cut down trees. And like how cool is that? It's just like your house plant that you dress up every holiday season. Because I thought about doing that to the fig tree that's pretty big, like putting lights on it, but I don't think you would be very happy with that. It would definitely die. Anyways, yeah, that's my Monday. What time is it? 
Oh my god, I thought you guys were gonna leave me hanging and I was so offended. It's Taco Tuesday. We do this once a month. It's like the third Tuesday of the month or something like that. Yeah. The best Tuesday of the month. You ready? Yes. These two. <laughs> Claire made lots of guac. Well, Claire made all of this, P.S. <laughs> Hi. You guys know I love my Danny. Come here, Danny. More than anything in the whole world, he's my little child. So I want to keep you guys updated on what's going on with him and our lives. So today's a big day for Danny and for me. <laughs> my little Danny is going in to get fixed today. I'm very nervous for him, but I know that this is a very common procedure that pretty much all pets get done. So I'm trying not to be nervous, but I'm taking him in this morning and then I'm going to pick him up tonight. Everything should be fine. It's a fairly simple procedure. I'm just nervous because I love him so much, but I know he's gonna do great. You're gonna do so good, Danny. <laughs> You're gonna be so good. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> he has no idea. Now, slow zoom. Give me it. What? Uh, good morning, it's Thursday. Wait. Good morning. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Hey guys, it's Thursday. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. Okay, so I was just asking the fam. Ooh. We're gonna stand over here. Well, you guys remember how we had Taco Tuesday? We have leftover meat from that, but like nothing else, like no taco shells. So I was like, girl, I'm not gonna let this meat <laughs> go to waste. So I decided to bring, like I brought like lettuce wraps, not romaine, cause like that E. coli. What else did I bring? Oh, cilantro, fave, not soapy. Um, and then I also brought avocado. Let's just take this in. Avocado. So I decided it's probably not the best. It's not ready to go. But I was like, if I leave it in the sun, is it gonna get like ripe and like exposed and be ready for lunchtime? And then so this is where we are. We're gonna leave it here and maybe it'll be a little bit more soft by lunch. Is that a thing? I don't know. Does it just need time or does it need like time and sun? I feel like this would help it. Anyways, we'll check back in at lunchtime. Okay, it's lunchtime. I moved I move the avocado so that Justin's little den could be blacked out over there. But I feel like it could be softer. Well, we all love a little warm avocado, no? Sorry, by me? No. By the light. <laughs> Taco Thursday. Cute. Pretty, right? Yeah. Wow, you're just some extra so meat. Your lunch is good too. <laughs> it's a DIY Caesar salad kit because you couldn't buy a Caesar salad kit because romaine. Because it remains out of stock. <laughs> It remains full of cola. <laughs> it's Thursday night and my friend surprised me with tickets to the Glorious Suns. But more importantly, maybe more importantly, the beaches. If you guys don't know, I love the beaches. I think this is going to be like the most band I've ever seen. Which is like kind of intense. Like I don't know if that's necessary. But yeah, we are going to go. Hopefully we're not late. They're opening. Which means that we got we got, we got to move quickly. The song's called Go. the most unique little shop. I absolutely love it. It has, it's like, looks like a real little shop. In some old town. You guys should come see Jackie Lee's booth. It's cool. The vibe, this is a vibe. 
giant cactus patch is something. But it's all like space theme, which I love. With just a hint of feminism. Boom. 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 Vibes. Have a good day. Yep, that's what I want. I want that. Okay, um, I'm back from the one of a kind show and I'll show you guys what I got because I'm really excited about some of it. But that's a lie. I'm excited about all of it. I don't know why I said that. Pretty much everything I bought was for me. Sorry, not sorry. So I got this, which is a Bego beeswax. This is like a pretty big and notable brand. Like it's not like a very small like creator maker. It might be a small company, but it's a pretty decent company. They sell on Amazon and I actually own this and I got a lot of it. Just saying. Okay, this is probably my favorite thing of the night. It's from Murphy and Co Candles, but I actually ended up getting not a candle. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I didn't get a candle, I got diffuser. Oh, so pretty. Can't see it, can't see it. Um, I actually got diffuser reads because, so I've had this issue. I come home and my apartment, my new Hana, it doesn't really smell like me. Like, I don't know what it smells like. Like, part of me is just like, it smells like, I don't know. Just not like me. It doesn't smell bad. Just like, just doesn't smell like me. It doesn't smell like homey. When I walk in, I'm not like, Ah, this is like comforting and beautiful. So I've been like burning candles at night, but I can only do that so much. And I actually, my candles don't really smell that strong. So when I saw that she had these, I was like, yes, that's what I need. I need reed diffusers. And she was very knowledgeable and like super cute. She also gave me a free lip balm. She decided to gift it to me, which is so sweet. So this is hibiscus and it's like coconut oil, almond oil, a bunch of oils butter and it's naturally pigmented and you can use it as like blush tint or like lip tint. Oh my god, you guys want me to swatch it? Okay, well here, this is what it looks like. This is the inside. It's not like crazy pigmented. Mm, it has coca in it. Oh yeah, this is good because I have a chocolate addiction so maybe instead of eating chocolate I need to put this on. It's great that I that can help me kick my chocolate addiction. Okay, back to the Reed diffuser. I filmed like my favorite scents just so I would remember them. And she has a website and she also sells it in stores in Toronto. She said tobacco and vanilla was their number one seller. And I did love it. And she said fig and honey was really popular too. But I ended up getting rice flour and ve ve I don't even know how to say that. Vetir. Ginger and bergamot was my second choice, but. Oh yeah, I like that. I think to get them started, you like put them in, flip it, flip it, flip it. And then whenever you want to like kick up the scent a bit, you flip them again. And she said this will last eight months. And so it was like around, it was like 34 before tax, 40 something after tax. But for eight months of scent, I mean, I think that's worth it. And like handmade, beautiful, local Ooh, girl. One more time. Ooh, maybe this is what you're supposed to do. I don't know, I read this once. All of them. YOLO. Mm. Pretty too, right? This one, I don't know about, because I've never heard it before, never tried it, but I was out of, I'm out of deodorant, so I was like, I need to buy more deodorant, but I saw this, it's called um, undercarriage, and it's basically just like an all natural deodorant, but they call it undercarriage because they're like, you can put it under your bra, under your boobs, under every, you can put it anywhere, basically. She's like, on your feet. Um, Cool, it'd be nice if I could open it. I'm like, why can't I? Mm. My hands are slippery, but they smell good. God damn. Yeah, but it's just like a, just like a creamy baking soda deodorant that you can then just like rub on. And this is good because I've bought natural deodorant before and I found it very like sticky. It was gross, I hated it. And this, I don't know, I'll try it. Apparently it works. It's all natural, and we're all about going all natural, aren't we? This is another favorite find. This was from, oh, I can't even tell you. Yes, I can. So she's definitely from Quebec because she didn't speak that much English. Her store, or her name is Marie-France Labros. But hey, if you're going to the One of Kind show, she's booth X07. But yeah, she speaks very French. And like, I was trying to talk to her about whether I could put plants in this or not. And I think she was trying to tell me just like, be careful because of the lack of drainage. And I was like, I know girl, that's why we use little rocks. But look how pretty. Oh, he's so cute. This is like fine. But it's subtle. 
feels like watercolor. Oh my god, this look good on this wall. I wasn't even picturing it for that wall. Guys, and you guys keep asking, I am doing an apartment decorating series. It's coming out eventually. I just need to decorate my apartment before I can release a series about it, but cute, right? And this is $28. I feel like that's really affordable. For like a handcrafted, beautiful piece. It's like glossy on the inside, design on the outside. Anyways, that's all I have for you now. Thanks for watching, bye. Come have an update from me to you. Danny is home now, and as you can tell, he is wearing the cone of shame. His surgery went well, I mean, as well as it can go, but he hates the cone. He can't pick up his favorite thing in the world, which is his soccer ball, and obviously he's just feeling a little under the weather. The first night when we brought him home, I felt so bad for laughing, but he was clearly on a lot of pain meds, and he was so happy to see us that he wanted to stay awake. He was so sleepy from the pain meds that he was standing up, but like trying to fall asleep at the same time, so he kept like leaning over and then waking himself back up, and then almost falling over and waking up again, and it was very cute. It was very cute, Danny. Things are looking good. You have to keep the cone on for for some more days, like 10 more days. I'm sorry, Bean. Okay, bye. So I stayed home with him for the next uh, two days after the surgery just to make sure that he was like supervised at all times and that the healing was going well, which it is, I think. Um, but the good thing is, I got to clean like, okay, excuse me. One thing is this dog is very clingy now after. Um, I got to clean the whole house though, which is so good. I don't know what I've had like that many hours that I can't really go anywhere because I have to be home with, the, with Danny. So it was great. And it's not like the type of clean where you just like wipe down some surfaces. It was like a good deep clean where I went through drawers and like pulled out things that hadn't been touched since we moved. It was like a good deep clean, deep declutter, which was very much needed. So now I have two boxes of stuff to go to the thrift store and some clothes as well, which I need to do that today. Um, what else? Last night, okay. <sighs> Thank you, baby. Last night we went to the one of a kind show as a team, which you will have seen, which I think we explained it properly enough, but it's like this giant artisan art show of like creators in the city um, that come and get together. Oh my goodness. Why are you so needy? Okay, Danny, come here. Come here. <laughs> okay, two of them are rings. This one and this one. They're sterling silver because it's the only thing I can wear it because other things make my fingers turn green, which is not cute and I love them. And I got like a gift for my mom for Christmas and uh, I think that was it. But it was a really, really, really good show. It was so fun to see like all these local artists and the really cool things that they make. I feel like I had more to say. Oh yeah, okay. Maybe I'll do the other update at another time. Okay, that's all. It's Sunday morning. We are making the most deluxe breakfast. Courtesy of Rachel who picked up amazing bagels. What a bagel. Rachel's truly a champ. The freshest bagels in the city. We're slicing them and we're gonna toast them in the oven. And then over here, we're making oh, some bagels. sauteed onions, some eggs. It's gonna be so good. It's deluxe breakfast. It's deluxe. This is a quality looking breakfast. You don't have to get a little nowhere teleporting on the little pathway. It doesn't matter. Rachel's egg cooked to perfection. It's like the right amount of gooey. Okay. <laughs> 